What do you have here? I have a Oridon fossil. I prefer my Oreos dipped in milk. <laughs> but that one's pretty good, too. It, this one is pretty good, too. I wouldn't eat it, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd eat it, either. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell a fossilized Oridon. I think this fossil can bring some really good money because it's in great shape. For what I've seen online and doing a little research on it, it's pretty good size, too. So I'm looking at getting $8,500 for this Oreodon fossil. This is pretty cool, man. As far as I know, an Oreodon would have been kind of like a sheep, and they would have been found as early as 5 million years ago all the way up to 40 million years ago. So it was a hoofed animal. Um, herbivore, you can tell by the teeth here, still intact, that these teeth would not be meant to eat meat. These were meant to grind up vegetation. And it looks like a pretty big set of bones you have here. This jaw is pretty big right here. Um, I don't think this would have been a very small animal. No. Do you know much about this? I don't know much about it. All I heard is that it's an Oreodon, and it came into the family many, many, many years ago. But I don't know exactly who got it or where exactly from. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I have no idea if it's real. Um, I do know these things are faked, and it would be very easy to slip a fake right by me. But it seems pretty cool, and it seems to have a lot of bones here. Um, what are you looking to do with it? I'm looking at selling it. How much are you looking to get for it? I'm thinking a fair price will be about $8,500. OK, I imagine if this is real, that's probably a fair asking price. I'm not exactly sure. I'd like to have someone come down and take a look at it, though, because I can't tell you if this is a real fossil. And um, I actually have a buddy who's a paleontologist, and he can probably make it down here pretty quick and shed some light on this. That would be awesome. We both will learn something from it. Give me just a few minutes, I'll be right back. Good. I've been told in my life that it's a real fossil, but I never had it looked at by a professional. So I'm really curious to see if it's a real fossil from a real Oreodon. Hey, thanks for coming in. How you doing? Hey, John, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Uh, I have something what I think could be really cool here. This gentleman says it's an Oreodon skull. That's a really large Oreodon skull. Oreodonts were a very diverse group of mammals from the Oligocene, kind of closely related to camels and pigs, if you can believe that. <laughs> uh, there's really not anything alive today that we can compare them to. They're pretty rare. Their fossils represent only about 1% of all the fossils found in the Badlands. Well, there's definitely a skull there, but it looks like there's a lot more. Yeah, uh, it looks like there's a little pile of bones going here, too. Yeah, that's what's really cool about this fossil. It's not just a skull. This is an associated skeleton, meaning that those bones are still connected as they were in life. This is where the animal laid down and died, got buried and fossilized 30 million years. If I can, I'd like to get a closer look at it. Yeah, you don't mind, do you? Yeah, go for it. So, Chum, I'm going to take this camera, and we're going to be looking for some obvious restoration things that people use to hide blemishes. A fossil like this needs to be kept in its original condition. It significantly affects the value. All right, so I definitely see some fill here. Uh, but that looks like it was done to stabilize the jaw. So I wouldn't really consider that restoration. Um, but if you look at this bone right here, you see those cracks? Yeah. Yeah, this bone looks really good. I'm not seeing anything that would indicate that this has been heavily restored. This fossil is in as original condition as you really can find one. Yeah, I can see it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've got one more tool, Chum, and this is going to tell us a lot about the most commonly faked part of these fossils. These teeth should glow under black light. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So those are the real teeth. Those are the real teeth. And let's take a look at these canines in the front. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I didn't see those <laughs> yeah. up there. So you know, this is one of those fossils that, uh, if you're a nerd collector like me, you can appreciate it with the lights on, but um, you know you can enjoy it in the evenings with some party lights as well. OK, well, what kind of value could you put on it? A specimen this unique and this complete um, with the articulation, I would expect a retail price of 14500 Well, that's definitely good news for one of us. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate you coming down, and um, I will let you know when I get another pile of bones in. If you have any trouble, just give me a call. All right, thank you. All right. Well, that's a lot more than I was expecting it to be. Would you take $7,000 for it? 
Now I came pretty set on that 85, and that was already super low. So you're gonna have to sweeten up the pot a little bit. <laughs> Especially now after you found out it's worth 14,500, yes, huh? Um, I think I'm gonna have to pass on it. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that want it, but for that price, it's gonna be a tough sell here in my shop. Okay. All right, thanks for bringing it All in. Right. No problem. Have a good day. Thank you. Too bad that we couldn't close a deal today, but now that I know that the fossil is worth more, I'm gonna take it to a collector and really get a payday on it.